We all know that it's important to eat healthy foods, but what is a healthy diet? And really, it's pretty confusing. I mean, for one, that food pyramid is always changing, and every product nowadays is marketed as healthy. Rat poison! Now with more electrolytes! You might just ask your doctor, but most MDs are trained only to treat sickness, not to promote health. And so much of the misinformation we think we know about nutrition is more about marketing products than it is about giving us the facts. For example, back in the 1980s, Luis Light led a group of nutritionists in creating the USDA's food pyramid. They took a careful look at all the research available and submitted their final result. But instead of passing these recommendations on to the public, the Office of the Secretary of Agriculture heavily edited the pyramid to appease the food industry, de-emphasizing fruits and vegetables in favor of the more profitable grains, and leaving out altogether the important distinction whole grains and the recommendation for lean over fatty meats and low fat over high fat dairy products, as those industries fear to blow to their profits. So where is our real guide to healthy eating? Fortunately, there are those who care about the truth. One such person, Dr. Michael Greger, founder of nonprofit nutritionfacts.org, compiles facts from hundreds of nutritional studies in order to find the truths about healthy eating. And these studies show that there is one single simple diet that can significantly reduce your risk for 15 out of the 16 leading causes of death in the US of A. Now, the problem is that as soon as I tell you what the diet is, half of you will close this video in righteous indignation. But here goes. Veganism. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on now, hold on. Yes, uh, the research does suggest strongly that a 100% plant-based balanced diet is far healthier than an omnivorous diet or even a vegetarian diet with dairy and eggs. And, and please, don't take my word for it. Follow the research for yourself. Here's a good place to start. It's Dr. Greger's whole talk on the subject. And there are many more links down below in the description. One of the most interesting studies that Dr. Greger highlights in his talk takes human cancer cells in petri dishes and squirts human blood on them to see how well blood from different people on different diets fights cancer cells. And they found that vegan blood is significantly more effective at suppressing and destroying every type of cancer cell. How significant is the difference? Well, the numbers are different for every type of cancer, but in the case of prostate cancer, nearly eight times more effective. If drastically improving people's health doesn't help make a better world, <laughs> I don't know what does. But I don't expect all of you to go vegan in the next week. I do hope so, though. Instead, I have a baby step mission for you. All right, huh? Try a food you've never had before. Simple enough. Of course, preferably a whole healthy plant food. I, myself, went down to the local Asian supermarket and picked up, uh, picked up a jackfruit. The largest tree-born fruit in the world. Of course, this is a relatively small one as they can get up to over 70 pounds, but I'm pretty excited. <clears throat> Vegans don't often get to cut something this large. God, that smells delicious. What, what was that? Hello? What is that smell? Oh my God. Oh, pig! I didn't do it. 